So basically, let's start with the fact that what do you understand with blog writing and SEO? What what is your perception of blog writing? Anyone can answer. At least come up with one or two sentences. Yeah. It's all about writing your views. Mm -hmm. Online. Yeah, online. Yeah. So basically, okay, so let's start. So blog can be any piece of article. It can be any section that is knowledgeable. Basically, blog is something like an online newspaper that uh, transmits uh, what we want to say and what we want to make the other people understand. It can have pictures, it can have notations, it can have videos, audios, and uh, it can have anything that a newspaper or a online communication channel can have. So in technical terms, it is any piece of article or a news piece that is published in any section of the website. Uh, we all know what a website is. It is a collection of web pages. So a blog is a particular section in any website wherein the, uh, the people can just publish their views and uh, let them know what they think about a particular topic for uh, the general public. Uh, okay, so if we just read this slide once, a blog is any article, news piece or guide that is published in the section of a website. This is very important. It covers a specific topic and it has a certain uh, word limit. As we all know that in a, in, in a newspaper also, we cannot have the whole newspaper with us. We cannot have a news published in the complete newspaper. We just get a section of, a, of the newspaper to uh, publish our views. So here uh, in the blog also, we have word limit and here we can just publish uh, uh, images, videos, infographics and interactive charts. This video thing is something that is not in any newspaper because it's not an online thing, but in the blogs, we can have this just to enhance what our representation of uh, thoughts should look like. Um, it can also be informative uh, uh, in terms of that it's adding value to any organization. It can be a fun, so topic can be anything up, uh, uh, as per what we have decided our uh, audience should be. If somebody's interested in entertainment, they can publish news that is related to songs, music, movies, etc. If somebody's interested in books, they can publish something related to novels, characters, sketches, etc. So this, this is something what a general definition, a technical person should know about blog. Are we on? Uh, are we all clear on this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Do you have any questions regarding what is a blog? No. Okay. So let's move further. So blog writing is just one thing. It's uh, it's just presentation of ideas. But how do you present it in such a competitive world that makes it even more important and it becomes even more efficient when we have the correct uh, set of words used um, for the people to understand. So for example. If we just look at the checkpoints for an efficient blog. So first of all, we should know what our audience should be like. Exactly what I told you just one minute before, what sort of audience we are targeting. Are we targeting kids? Are we targeting old people? Are we targeting medicines? Are we targeting uh, <coughs> books, entertainment, what? Whatever we are targeting, the complete blog should be related to that only. It cannot be the fact that we are uh, writing something about cooking, then we suddenly shift to books. Nobody will understand it. Nobody will have a connect and nobody will further come uh, to uh, read your blog for the next time. So basically, we sh this is very, very important. And hence, it is uh, placed at the very first place that you should be very clear on what your audience is. Fine. Second is, now this comes to the technical part that you should have a blog domain, something like .com, like if I have a blog to my name, it should and it is related to something like books. So it should be like anukritibooks.com. So there is there are many sites that give us our uh, personalized domains. GoDaddy is one of them. So this is just an example, but here we have numerous uh, sites now that give us a domain name. 
and domains to us. Uh, this domain is basically what everybody will see when you just publish it. So this is also very important. What domain address and what domain do you choose? Because that will give an essence of what type of people you are willing to look at. Third thing is customize your blog's theme. This again is an important task because you cannot have a picture of a recipe or of a dish and say something about your books. There has to be a connect with the blog theme and what your uh, blog is telling about. If you're telling about books, there should be a picture of a blog. If I write here checkpoints of an efficient blog and here I display uh, a song titles image, there is a no connect, nobody will come to understand this, nobody will come to uh, listen to uh, read whatever is written. Nobody will come to read whatever is written. No verbal communication regarding your blog will ever happen if there is no sync between the display things, between the graphics and the uh, text. So there should be a customized theme and it should be uh, relevant as per the needs. Then. Every time the first thing is always important. So the first blog's topic should be utmost important. It should be dealt with utmost importance because once you tell people that I have my blog page and uh, this is my first blog, people should get an instinct that uh, you are somewhat related to that topic and how you want to present the uh, blog's further topics. So the first topic gives an essence about you, your your perception about your blogging uh, platform. So uh, first post should be always a attractive one and it should have relevance in uh, people's mind. Something that is irrelevant and it is not uh, easily digestible by people wouldn't make much impact with the larger audience in general. Technical people or people related to that domain might understand, but it again becomes a subset of the larger domain. So anyways, uh, when you think of it in a monetary way or when you think of it in a public, uh, pub, uh, making it public, that way it doesn't work appropriately. Now, next thing is come up with a working title. You might have always seen that the newspapers or the news channels use very catchy lines. Whenever there is a news or something, they just write something like breaking news and they keep on iterating one title so that everybody knows, everybody understand what the top uh, complete report is about. So working title here means it should be captivating, it should be uh, eye catchy. And very, very long titles don't work these days. Nobody's interested in work, uh, reading very, very long things just to understand what the topic is about. So two, three words, five, six words is maximum a title should look like. My first blog can be one title. If you're just making the blog for a testing purpose or let's cook can be another. If you want to make it uh, for a cookery thing or... Uh, it can be if you want to make it related to books or something. So it can be let's read anything, but it should be short and crisp and clear. Now, <clears throat> the next point is write an introduction. Introduction about, introduction about the blog means for the first three, four lines, it should be the uh, explanation only of the heading that you have written. So the people know something what that is called abstract when we write a research paper. So abstract tells us what the complete research paper is about. Similarly, the introduction of the blog should be telling us what the complete blog is all about. So uh, that should be very, very clear and, in, uh, and should be written in very simple words because if people won't understand the crisp or the gist of the blog, nobody will tend to continue uh, to read it. So uh, introduction again becomes a very important topic. Then organize your content in an outline. This means uh, when we read a book, you see there is a content page. And in the content, there are subsections. That section 1.1 tells it about introduction. 1.2 can be uh, the explanation of the first topic. Then 1.2 becomes the third thing. So there should be an outline so that if I directly want to go to some other section, people, uh, there should be a clear understanding that this information I'll find in this page. So uh, content uh, and outline that should be 
uh, in a very clear way so that people know where they should go when they need to uh, go to a particular section of the blog. Then this is simply when these four or five points are clear in your mind, you can simply start your writing your blog post, whatever you feel is correct, whatever you feel will uh, have an impact on the target audience, then you write it here. And then proofread and edit your post. This is something very, very important these days. A little slip of the word or if little slip in the sentence can do havoc there. So since it is a public thing, you should be very, very careful on what is being posted on your name. Uh, even by mistake, if something is wrong, you are held accountable for the uh, wrong text or wrong word or wrong sentence or wrong content. So, and you know how the IT department works these days. Every, every single word is being tracked using hash keywords and everything. So there is a very high chance of being caught and being uh, penalized for uh, writing something that was not intended for the particular set of audience. Therefore, proofreading is very, very important these days. You know, Google also penalizes for uh, content that is irrelevant and that is not as per what was told in the uh, terms and conditions. It uh, certainly blocks the post and it limits the reach of the uh, blog. So proofreading is again a very, very important. Then optimize for on-page SEO. This thing we can discuss later after we are just clear with the blogging. SEO basically uh, is basically search engine optimization. This basically tells us how can we uh, increase our blog reach and how can we uh, make it uh, happen to occur on the very first four or five links when somebody search, searches about that topic on Google. So about this SEO, we have a different section, separate section. This we will cover later on. But uh, are we clear on the above for uh, these points? The points above this SEO, are we clear on these? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I ma want to ask one yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, there is a second point, uh, create your blog domain. Uh, hmm. Whether uh, we purchase domain or server for uh, blogging? Uh, it depends. Like there are some free sites like Google's Blogger. Google has a blogging channel called Blogger where we'll do a hands-on right now. That is a free thing. But uh, things like GoDaddy and all these are paid. So it depends on what you want to do. There, uh, But it isn't that only the paid uh, domains will get you larger audience. It, it is not like that. Even the unpaid ones uh, gets you audience. So it depends on what you want to do. It's totally up to you. Okay. Yeah. So, how the uh, audience interacts, or how uh, they uh, see our uh, uh, blogging? That that is based on SEO. The basically what you do. Suppose if you are writing a, a blog that is based on books, or suppose you are making a blog that is based on English grammar. So the first, uh, so you will use some uh, keywords there. Suppose noun, pronoun, adjective, as we do using in our uh, uh, social media also, we write hashtag Nenital, hashtag open university, we write something like that. So these are the things that drive the search engines mechanism. So when somebody searches, suppose, uh, uh, so when somebody searches, what is noun in Google? So if your page has something related to noun, so they are there, it will be uh, automatically, it will come up. Now it depends on the reach of your blog or it depends on the relevant content or how many people actually visit your blog on daily basis that it will uh, come on the first or second or third place on Google. Okay. So basically your content, uh, that's the main, uh, <clears throat> the main motive behind creating relevant content is that it helps in SEO. It helps it in reaching the blog to the correct audience. Okay, ma'am. Hello. Are, are we clear? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please tell. Good, good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Yash. Actually, ma'am, I don't know how to make a blog. Can you please guide guide us uh, how to make a blog so that we work in a professional world? 
and uh, yeah 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 so once we are done with a little basics of this we'll just do hands on after this fine right? hello okay yeah hello yeah yeah audible please tell yeah hi actually my question is related with that just just i have tried to make a blog in uh, like one of uh, website that blogspot.com mm -hmm. so in the blogspot i i just saw like like if i posted my this um, blog over there mm -hmm. so once i'll i'll publish and like i'll send to particular audience then they will be able to uh, see those blog hmm. so in that like seo thing i'm not able to understand how it will be visible to larger audience because like if you will send a link to particular audience then they will be able to see so without no, no, send no. Uh, okay uh, yeah got your point you want to ask that without sending link how should yes. your blog yes. reach to the other people right, right. so what right. what was your blog about uh, like uh, i have written one of the blog related to dairy farming related so, to dairy you... farming okay dairy farming okay yes so uh, basically it includes something like milk it some in yes. cow right yes. cattle feed, feed and all those things feed and all yeah farmers might be might include farmers village something like that so yes. what you need to do is you need to identify the keywords that are the main points of your blog so for example okay. after hearing uh, you you said cattle farming i guess yeah so yes. dairy farming so dairy farming yeah so out when i heard dairy farming four five words came to my mind so you put all these four five words there is a label section in the blog okay right? so you mm -hmm. put these words there so what happens is when somebody searches uh, on google so these labels are matched with the search uh, searching words fine suppose i i write anukriti mathur so wherever there is anukriti mathur labeled on something google mm -hmm. will find match the anukriti search there and the label named anukriti so once there is a mapping between the two it will display so if i search anukriti on google it will show my linkedin profile it will show my facebook profile and if it will show something if, if i have a blog or something to my name right okay so uh, uh, but now the other point is now this these keywords like cow or something is very very common mm -hmm. yeah yes. so so for this you need to include even more words so that uh, if somebody searches anything related to dairy farming mm -hmm. there should be a match between your uh, uh, your blog and what people search so you have to think from the reader's perspective what they want to uh, what they want to read when they search about dairy uh, farming so label uh, label is there because i have written in a paragraph kind of thing so um no no I've... labels option is there wherein okay. you write keywords have uh, have you read any research paper or something mm, yeah sometime so, I... or yes. or even a book so you see in the uh, uh, just below the name of the research paper or just below the abstract mm -hmm. we, we have certain keywords we write keywords used and there are four five keywords that are the main driving points of the research paper or the book in every <clears throat> chapter also we have something in our uh, early uh, childhood days uh, glossary used yes, to be yes, in our yes. english books you remember mm -hmm. yes, so yes. that is the same thing that that is how labels work so those okay. are the main uh, words that are used while search that should be used uh, when uh, you want your blog to come up okay fine fine i i'll check it again yeah. and um, actually i have one more question yeah um, like uh, most of the time i i saw that uh, blogs are in the kind of like story sometime like people write it in the form of paragraph or something mm -hmm. so in one of the point you said that organize your content in an outline like 1.1 1.2 so is there a scope in a blog to write is in the form of like um, like book because generally that uh, these uh, kind of thing generally happen in the book right yeah so what i meant was what i meant was that you should organize your content in a way that it is easily differentiable so for example if after seeing your blog i want to make a content list from it the vice versa thing you see so okay. i should be able to write that first paragraph of your blog was introduction second paragraph was related to what is dairy farm uh, what is dairy farming the third was the insights the fourth was conclusion i should be able to uh, just uh, uh, apprehend this once i read your blog 
so it's a vice versa thing it's not like we can you are correct we cannot write 1.1 1.3 in the blog but our content should be organized keeping in mind that if somebody wants to navigate to some section directly after reading the first line only they sh uh, they should be knowing that this paragraph is not relevant and this paragraph is relevant mm -hmm. okay that way okay fine fine okay thank you so much thank you Shall we move on or uh, is, uh, are there any other doubts? Yes, I think we can move on. We can? Okay. So now what makes a blog successful? So now these are the, basically these are the same points as we make, uh, as we discussed while we were discussing the checkpoints, but this is something different in the way that even if you have everything correct, you have all the checkpoints correct, then also there might be a case that uh, your blog blogging isn't successful. So the very first thing to make it successful is you should make, you should post, you should publish your content on a regular basis. Nowadays, everybody's familiar with how YouTube works. We all see YouTube. You see, if you don't uh, uh, post your videos regularly, the YouTube algorithm works in a way that it uh, diminishes the reach, uh, uh, video's reach. Same thing happens with the blogs also. Anything that is posted online has to be posted on regular basis so that people are aware we have notifications or something that there is, some, there is a new thing from this uh, person or there is something new from this channel. So uh, an ideal research says that uh, at least two articles per week should be enough. But if you can do more than that, that would be even more helpful. Fine. So see, so the third line that goes is you need to be blogging every single day, especially with when SEO is one of your key priorities. If you're blogging just for the sake of it, or you're just interested in writing and then you are blogging, that is another thing. But if you want to make money out of it, or you want to uh, make your blog uh, reach to larger audience, that means if SEO is involved, then you should write every day or at least two to three articles per week. Fine. Okay, so now let's just begin with hands-on. This is made in terms of the fact that uh, we are very, very new to the uh, to blogging. So it might be somewhat uh, cliche for the ones who have already tried it, but for the ones who are doing it for the first time, they'll learn the basics of blogging, fine? So uh, first I'll just tell you here, then uh, I'll share my screen and do, I'll one, create one blog for you. And you can do the same at your systems. Fine. Is this fine? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So today we'll use Google's blogger, the one I was discussing about a few minutes back. So uh, I hope all of you have Gmail IDs with you, your Gmail IDs, right? Yes. Yeah. So once you just log into your Gmail IDs and then uh, in you have these uh, three by three grid, the nine dots there. There you will see a blogger option. This is Google's blogger blogging platform. Just open this. Are we doing it side by side or should I continue? Hello. Yes. 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 Guys, nice, let's do it. Everybody, please log into your Gmail yes. IDs and open Blogger. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Once you have, uh, once you have clicked on this Blogger, this is the place where you find your drive and other thing, other applications related to Google Maps, payment, everything. This is the same nine dots thing. Uh, once you scroll down. So you will have a blogger icon also. This will take you, you to the blogging site. Yes, open. Open. Everybody on the same page? Yes. Okay. So once you have blog uh, this blogger opened with you, and if it is your first time, it will ask for the address of your blog. So basically, address is something that will appear on the URL when people will see, see it. 
So it should be like something dot blogspot.com. This will be already there, inserted there. And this you will write, suppose test dot blogspot.com. This will be the URL that people will use to access your blog. Okay. If you've signed in and we are on this page, please let me know. Yes. I hear only one voice. Are there other people doing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine. So at what page are you right now? It's showing like a new post, post setting, reading list. Fine, fine, fine. You are, you are completely set up then. Uh, others, are you on the same page? Uh, yes. So just write the uh, address. It can be something like test your name, something like that. You can change everything afterwards. So don't bother that uh, once you will create it, you will not change it in the past. It's not like that. Now, you can write test one, two, three, like that. And see if that address is available on web. Done, ma'am. Done? Okay. So, did you see this screen now? Google will ask you for a paid domain thing. Ma'am, it is asking for blogspot.com. Uh, so, there only you need to write you your address, right. no? Yes, ah, ma'am. So the, the thing that I told you in the first slide, something like this. Suppose I can write anukriti.blogspot.com. You write whatever you want. Okay, ma'am. Your name or whatever, whatever you feel like. Fine. Once you see this screen, just click on no thanks. Do not proceed right now. Done. Others also please ask doubts so that we can start quickly. We have very few uh, minutes left now. Yes, ma'am, done. This is done. Yeah, Do you see a screen like this now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Here, whatever you chose as your domain, uh, here that name would be visible. I chose test, so here test is visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma is this the same screen you all are seeing at your system? Is it? Aapki screen pe bhi aise hi visible hai pura. Yahan pe a menu and here it would be zero if you are doing for the first time. This should be zero. Correct, right? Okay. Okay. So uh, if there is a lag or something, or if you cannot see the screen, just interrupt me in between, fine? Right? I'm assuming that my screen is visible and uh, the cursor is blinking. Is it? Yes. Okay. So let's start with the first. Uh, okay. This is This title is the one that will be visible once you publish it fine so this will be in uh, this might be uh, appended in the url itself so this has to be a catchy one and, and it has to uh, have some words that are relevant with the blog basically it's the uh, web pages title fine so here i write testing first blog then now let's see first the options that we have and then we can just publish our blog okay so 
the first thing the pencil sort of sign that you see here and the drop down beside this this shows us the html view and the compose view for the very beginners and even for the convenience sake also we just use this compose view so here i can just write as if i am writing on a word document or on a notepad but if i just switch to html view it uh, starts in uh, it just opens the uh, uh, text in html language so for this you uh, must know how the html tags work how the css associated it with works so if you see these are some html tags in everything so for the learning purpose let's first start with compose view so that it's easier for us this is the same undo and redo button this is for the font type so this we can uh, know once we start doing it so you see the first thing should be our heading fine so it it and it has to be short and simple so since it is a testing block we just write let's begin now for the heading we have few options here you see major heading and a drop down beside it so it can be major heading heading subheading minor heading heading paragraph and normal as per what is required so this text is normal this is normal text this is a major heading if i just change it to heading a bit of reduction in size will occur so basically it is uh, in the form of size uh, this major heading will be the biggest in font then heading subheading minor heading paragraph and normal so let's switch it to let uh, major heading then this is the text here i can write it in paragraph form or I can just write it in um, bullets form if I want. Or numbered form, whatever is the case. Then from here, I can just uh, do the alignment. If it is, has to be left aligned means all the text will be aligned leftwards like this. This is left aligned. Uh, this margin will meet and this won't. Similarly, for the center one, it this, it will be in the center. Then similarly, for justify is the best that looks because it looks aligned from both the things. Since it is a shorter sentence, it is uh, not aligning this way. But it uh, once I write something uh, large, then these margins and these margins will meet. So if I write, hello, how are you? And the text area, this should meet. Center align will be like this or something. Now, <clears throat> this is for the more indentation purpose. Now, if I want to add uh, something in numbered form or like points or something, so the, here you see the three dots, more actions. Here you can write, if I want to have a bullet list, like something like apple, fruit, something like that. If I want to have a numbered list, I just click on the number things and it comes in form of numbers. Then this is for the quoted text, uh, the way we write quotations. Then insert a jump line means we just need to separate it from the rest of the text. So these are for hyperlinks and everything. So this is something not very, very essential right now. You can use it once this has when you want to link your blogs like you just explain one part of your complete system in one blog and then you link it to another then from here uh, you can insert image the way i did you can even choose multiple images the only thing is it should be in png jpg or jpeg format so once you click on the image icon uh, following other options that uh, are visible if you click from upload computer It will open uh, and see here's the thing that you can only write jpg gia for png files not it doesn't even support jpg so you can just choose your files from here and so, uh, click anything that is suppose suppose this logo or anything that you want and then you just click on select and upload or if you want 
to upload from Google Photos. So that should be here or by URL directly. So uh, then also this can be inserted. So this image is inserted using desktop upload. Now, once we have the image with us, we can choose where we want to keep it. This should be left aligned, center aligned, right aligned, or if I just put it a bit down and then I do it in the center, it comes at the center of the page. Since this was center aligned, it came here. If I would have <clears throat> done it as right aligned or something, so it will go there. So these are just the basic uh, alignments that we even use when we use Word or something or that. So image can be inserted from here. Then, and then these is, uh, this is for video upload. The, the this is the only quality that is dif that differentiates a newspaper from a blog because of the video thing a newspaper cannot have videos but this can have similarly we can insert links here and here uh, we can write what text to display suppose i want to right click here and here i write something like http some some the complete link that i want just copy paste so it will so it just one and if it would have been a real link when i click on this it would have gone there fine so doing it this way <clears throat> then if you want to insert special characters the emojis that we use in our daily thing like these days so from here you can insert the emojis these are there are many so some of them are useful some are weird so not of very use right now but for informal blogging these can be used uh, nobody uses this in professional blogging so uh, i don't suggest to use them either uh, then once our basic thing is done so we can just click on preview just to see how this will look when it's posted So it will look like this and let it load. So here, basically Google will place ads. If you click, if you select this to be a monetized thing, if you want to make money out of this, so Google will place ads here and depend, see here it's written, ads go here. So, uh, and if uh, the uh, monetary amount will depend on the ads here and the reach of the ads. So, and this, this is like a basic visibility of the blog. Then you can see here how it will look on a desktop, how it will look on a tablet, how it will look on a smartphone. So these things you can check here so that you know uh, how is it, uh, how it is looking on every screen. Then. Okay, so this is here. Now let's go back to locate it. Okay, so this was about this. Now, if everything seems fine or something, we can just publish it. Uh, we talked about labels before. So here you can write labels. So suppose this is somebody asked about dairy farming. So I can write here cow, then I can write here milk, something like that. Right? So these labels will help us uh, increase our SEO and increase the reach. Then once everything is fine, I can just click on publish. It will give us a confirmation pop-up. Just click on confirm and the blog is published. So now, suppose you publish it and you feel that it is not correct or you missed something, here's always a revert to draft option, the first arrow. 
So if I want to uh, make it to draft again, I can just click on this and it is again unpublished and the status would change here. So now it's again a draft one. If I want to publish it again, I can just click on publish and the status changes here to published. The date here <clears throat> will be the date of the first edit of the blog. So yesterday I was working on this. So I just, uh, it's, it is showing as 12th of January. If you want to, for this labels thing, you can write able, labels even after that. Then if you want to delete it, then here, then this will be your account's name that will be displayed here. And this will be again the preview thing. Now let's see some basic settings that you can do that are of ready use as of now. First is the layout thing. So once you click on layout, So you can see how, uh, how differently you can choose your block to appear. So it can be something like this. It can be this. This you can choose as per your uh, content and everything. Like you want to add labels. You want, if you want to have it a sidebar on the top or the left or something. So this you can have as layout. If you want more themes to happen to your uh, blog, then you can just click on themes here and here you will see. So basically these are templates sort of. So in the images section, you just image your, uh, the relevant image. Here you can just choose the content. So it will be looking the same way, but as per your content. Uh, when we started this blogging thing, I told you that you can change everything from your settings. So this is the settings thing. and. the blog address that I told you that you write here anything as of now and then you can change it. So you can change it from here and the title of the post can be changed from here. So everything can be changed. So not to worry, just put it to draft again and change the settings. Then this, uh, once you have some reach to your blog, the statistics page would also work. Right now it will not show anything because there are no statistics available. Once you have some uh, published your first blog here, it will show one comments will be counted here, number of comments. Then if people follow your blog, so that, that will be shown here. Here a uh, graphical notation of the complete statistics would be displayed something like a pie chart or a uh, bar chart. Then earnings. For your blog to get monetized, you just need to create an AdSense account. This will be directly linked to your uh, main account. And then you can uh, just uh, start with the um, uh, earning of from this blog also. But uh, there are certain conditions to it that you can read in FAQ. One is that uh, the pay only uh, starts when there is a certain reach. Second thing is they only pay after one month or something. So there are certain checks that you can check later on, but for, from the learning perspective, uh, this um, should be the style of writing the blog and the checks that I told you that should be kept in mind. So are we clear on how to create a blog? Shall we move on to SEO? Oh, yes. Mama, I have a query now. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Please tell Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mom, uh, let's suppose, uh, you know, can you go to the post that you have just prepared? Yeah. Okay. Now, when we publish it, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. can, can you please publish a uh, preview with Mom? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, Mom, there is a background image which comes in the background, mm -hmm. which is a hill and a river and all. Mm -hmm. So can I change that? Oh, this is just a preview thing. This this isn't this isn't something that will be displayed once you publish it. Uh, that is visible to the real audience. This only this will be visible to the audience. This will not be visible. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, it is just for they, they have just put a watermark sort of thing just to let you know that it is not published. It is just in preview state. You see here where yeah. my cursor is right now. Okay. Uh, so this will not be visible. Only the white thing that you see in this rectangular box, this will be visible. 
because okay. when i see when i show you this na you see in the tablet thing that has gone so basically that is not for visibility yeah oh okay 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 and ma'am uh, can you give me uh, can you give a little bit more insight about uh, the how to change the theme and how it's going to look it here i mean let's suppose if i talk about this particular blog and if we change the theme then 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 mm -hmm. um, how it is going to make an impact the visual impact mm -hmm. okay one second <clears throat> so when you click on themes mm -hmm. and uh, suppose i select this fine and i just uh, let's do a preview first then we okay. can apply okay so if it, with that theme because i selected this image you can select anything the blog would look like this then so, the image was very big na so that's yeah, yeah. how the image that it found here it turned out to be big and the content it has just reduced to something like this so basically what i want to show right now is uh, it will be in the same format you see a big image and then the text if i turn this to something like this or uh, i say this so there it will ask for two images otherwise it will show a null sort of here a blank here and the text will be here somewhere you see okay that is how the impact of the uh, themes will be uh, these are basically the templates you just you can just customize them but when the way we created it right now that was completely from scratch so everything every uh, uh, alignment of the image the text and everything you have to do manually right now you can just uh, place your content in these place holders okay okay so these place so once we select this template this place holder will mm -hmm. already be there as it is it, i mean yeah, you know as it is given I, here. i'll show you I, i'll show you see you see this customize button okay if i just click on customize uh, see remove image change image text main color everything you will have you can change now mm -hmm. and okay. about uh, and yeah. what kind of preview is going to give can you is, is there a preview option ma yeah preview option is here the way i showed uh, showed you at the beginning the pre pre <laughs> this one fine then customize is uh, the way i showed you just before this before navigating to the screen and apply is once you are ready with all your fixes you just click on apply and then you can see what you have done and ma'am how can we like, earn through it ma'am oh earning part you yeah. need to link it to adsense account create google adsense and that will be linked to your email id you need to link it to the adsense account and then it will be linked to your id from which you create your blogs oh okay okay and how many yeah. uh, views or what are the statistics ma uh statistics uh, is i mean uh, uh, to be eligible for the earning uh, so, uh to be uh, that depends on first uh, there are parameters to it like first is the reach of the blog and uh, there are many factors that contribute that is not very much visible in the faqs also uh, okay. you know how google uh, that uh, youtube algorithm works so there is like uh, you need a minimum of 10000 subscribers but here we do not have any fixed number sort of thing they calculate it on their own and then they tell you that you are now eligible so basically it depends on the reach and the ads that you get more okay. than the content it is about the ads relevant advertisements that you get okay okay yeah thanks a lot ma'am thank you any other doubts
No, ma'am. Okay, so let's quickly finish. Uh, this uh, one more thing, ma'am. One more yeah, thing. Please, yeah, can yeah, you yeah, go back? Yeah, yeah. Ma'am, let's suppose yeah, that yeah. I have a blogging account. Let's suppose it is XYZ, right? So that is the mm -hmm. primary account mm -hmm. under which I have opened up the blogging section. Fine. Right. Now, uh, ma'am, can you go to the left, uh, this thing? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, this yeah. one. Now, ma'am, I see that there are, uh, there's one blog that you have made. Let's suppose that this blog is related to example, digital marketing, example. Okay. Right. But let's suppose that you also have a flavor for travel and you want to create a hmm. second, uh, another section. Yeah. Huh. So new blog is there. Ah. No, 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 no. I'll tell you the difference. See, this okay. is the category basically. Okay, Fine. Okay, okay, this okay, is okay. category. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And the new post will be uh, when you, when this category is selected and a new post is made, it refers to the test category. In your case, what you call this digital marketing. Fine. Cool, cool, cool. But if I create a new blog here, that will be another category. And then when I create a new post, it will correspond to the new category that I just created. Got it, ma'am. So I do not have to create multiple accounts. No, 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 no. Only one account. Done, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. So we uh, heard of this SEO when we were in the beginning of the se session. So basically, I'll just cover it quickly because we are running short of time now. Now, SEO stands for search engine optimization. It basically helps us to increase the reach of our blogs, the blogs, uh, the way we created the labels and everything just account to this SEO thing. Uh, the best part about SEO is it is uh, it is uh, it has nothing to do with payment it is a free thing uh, in technical terms we call it organic inorganic thing is for which we pay and then we get results organic is the customers are themselves attracted to us in some way or they like to visit our blogs quite often they are like followers they comment they drive ads to our account so seo is basically you don't have to pay in that space like paid advertisement now, what is on-page and off-page SEO? On-page is about building your content in a better way. You add more labels, you add more tags, you write it in a rich keyword form, you uh, organize it well, you uh, insert relevant images, you insert relevant content so that people tend to come to your thing. Then this is on-page SEO. Off-page SEO is you just share your link with your uh, people you know, and then they promote your uh, blogging site. Suppose I send it to you, just, just put it on your status or just advertise it some way. So it's like something like mouth-to-mouth -mouth advertisement, or it can be they are uh, uh, asking people to uh, visit your blogging site. So this is basically built on relations, and it is uh, nothing to do with the quality of the content or with what uh tags or labels you have made this is also integral th these days because you see how marketing works people uh, uh people tend to invest a lot on marketing these days because of this off-page seo thing fine now this is very uh, critical while writing blogs this is uh, in order to increase your seo what uh, there are tactics that are not legal Basically, these are illegal tactics. So, so uh, the, those are categorized into white hat and black hat SEO. White hat is basically you are doing research, you are uh, pasting relevant links on your blogging site. Images are well labeled. If you have uh, copied it from somewhere, you're giving due credits to the person. And then the sentences are grammatically correct and there's no spelling error. The content is relevant. It is hitting the target audience. Everything is fine. But black hat SEO means you are just duplicating contents. Content uh, is being uh, taken from somewhere or you are just pin botting it. Just changing the active sentences to passive ones, passive to active so that the algorithms don't search it, but the meaning is same. Or you are direct, redirecting the people to some other page that might be a good one, that might be bad. Basically, it leads to irrelevant content. 
So that is something not acceptable. And once Google finds it, so Google penalizes websites using black hat uh, SEO strategies. So this you should always avoid. Do not uh, store irrelevant links or keep a check on everything, what you have written, even if by mistake there is something wrong, just make it to draft, correct it, so that there is no penalty on the uh, uh, on your blog and that does not lead you to uh, a black hat SEO blogger thing. Always uh, use this technique. One question here. Um, yeah. Something just related to this. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, no matter we, um, you know, whether we do blogging or we are uh, doing SEO, what I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what I understand is the main emphasis has been given to the content. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Now, mm -hmm. uh, creating content uh, mm -hmm. is something which is, you know, it's a creative work. It takes time. Exactly. Yeah. But the industry does not wait. I mean, you know, uh, the real job life, uh, they want more content and uh, most, uh, it's not, the word is not stuffing would not be the right word. But uh, they want a repetitive action. Exactly. Yeah. Is there any way, ma'am, that uh, where we can work on the content by not duplicating it, but rephrasing it or uh, reworking on things? I mean, rephrasing yourself is, isn't bad because, see, information is limited. Topics are limited. You cannot have everything from the very scratch. You cannot reinvent the wheel every, every time, every single time. This doesn't happen. Mm. But just copying this content, putting it in a spinbot tool, just clicking on spinbot and then pasting it back. And your blog is created within 10 minutes. That is what black hat SEO is. It does not involve that you are rephrasing it. You are taking some lines. Even in the research paper, we take few lines from the other research paper, but we give credits. We put a, a square bracket, we write one, then we write the, uh, we paste the link of that research paper in our references. So uh, references here also you can put, that is not an issue. But if you are just copying it from somewhere, you are uh, taking a diagram from somewhere and you're not giving due credits to that uh, website or that person, or you're just duplicating everything, that is what comes under Black Hat SEO. Okay, and how do we give credits now? Uh, credits uh, you can simply write that uh, image if you are if there is an image you can write image source and you can write the uh, paste the image link or if it is some uh, if you have clicked it from a book or something you can write the image sources from book uh, and the title of the book or you can write special thanks to the author of that book or the author of that website or something like that so that the person is given you credits Okay. And it should be visible. It, it is not like you're writing it somewhere very small and just for the sake of it, like the uh, big companies or something people do put a star and then do it, paste it somewhere at the very bottom. That doesn't help in the, these things. Those are big players. They can manipulate things, but we can't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I was I am done with what I had. Now, if you have any more doubts, we can just clear or uh, let's end this session.